been so warm and so humid. It does not make it feel like fall at all or like we're almost towards December, the final month of the year. Outside right now, we are waking up to mostly clear conditions here in Daytona Beach. Clear to start, but we are very, very humid. And it's all thanks to, again, tropical moisture from Raphael. Now, again, that high pressure is going to keep Raphael out of our direction, but it's still pulling in that very tropical uh, air. Raphael is also going to battle some very dry air, which is why it is forecast to weaken over the next few days. Back at home, we do have some showers to start. These are quick moving showers from Orange County up towards Seminole County and even into southern Volusia County. So as you get the kids ready for school, just know that it's a stray shower. Otherwise, we're mixing in that cloud cover at times with those clear conditions and it's very humid. But by the time that you pick the kids up from school, we'll have more sunshine and drier air, but it's definitely going to be warm. Now through about 11, 12 o'clock, we have the highest rainfall coverage around 20%. So know that much of the morning afternoon is going to be dry, but a passing shower here and there is absolutely possible. And then going into the afternoon, we'll have a little bit more sun with temperatures warming up into the mid 80s all across central Florida. So it's going to be a warm afternoon and it's still going to be breezy with winds around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Tomorrow still warm. Unfortunately, temperatures in the mid 80s with our winds picking up again around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Also going to have an isolated shower. Rain picks up briefly on Saturday. Then on Sunday, we're talking just an isolated rain chance. That high pressure keeps Raphael out of our direction. So we're just going to focus on our forecast, which is a 30% coverage of rainfall on Saturday, 20% on Sunday. Speaking of Raphael, it's a category two hurricane with winds of 105 miles per hour. The center of the storm now in the Gulf of Mexico, but some of those outer rain bands working in a parts of the keys, bringing in some tropical storm force winds there and even some very uh I would say high surf or rough surf conditions for Southwest Florida. Again, it is going to move towards the West throughout the week this week and into the weekend where it will gradually weaken into a tropical storm by early next week as it takes a dive down to the South into the Bay of Campeche. So this is not going to impact us. And as it's gradually moves away, our humidity will also go down. Your first warning 70 forecast Central Florida certified most accurate shows pretty warm air in the forecast over the next seven days in the mornings and afternoons and mainly dry conditions. A couple of passing showers here and there with a slightly higher rainfall coverage on Saturday and on Monday, looking at scattered showers in the mix.